Once upon a time, there were fields. And then... If you had magical powers, what would you use them for? Dad calls Metroland a symphony of concrete and nature. He's a vicar. Rowan, he's not my boyfriend, calls Metroland a dump. He has no imagination. Last Saturday, Rowan was being weirder than usual. First, he got stuck up a tree and had to be rescued by a fireman. Second, he ate a whole tin of cat food and made himself sick. Third, he spent all afternoon whistling at the sky. Until four o'clock when he had to go to work at Varma's Superstore. I decided I should check up on Rowan at work, make sure he was okay. Something else was wrong. But I didn't know what it was. Something was... missing. I arrived at the shop too late. Rowan had already left, with the farmer's entire stock of cat food. That's it, I said. Missing cats! Where had all the cats gone? Johnny Floyd said that Chairman Meow had vanished too. He thought that the government were responsible for the missing cats. Mr. Varma said it was probably aliens, collecting intelligent life forms, which is possible. Cats can come across as the dominant species. That tune. The electricity was singing the same tune that Rowan had been whistling. And Chairman Meow. So it can't be aliens. This sneaky old electricity up to something. I made an announcement. I, Alice, shall find the cats and Rowan and return them to their proper homes. Mrs Varma said that the cables came from the cranky old pylon on Wicker Hill. No one ever goes up there. Wicker Hill is known for its mischievous shrubs. I hope that Rowan was okay. He's not good with things that aren't normal. A singing pylon. But why? The music seemed to be controlling the cats and Rowan for some reason. The pylon had a lovely singing voice. What rubbish! Wake up, Alice! I called Mr Varma to explain that a magic pylon had taken control of Rowan and the cats. He said we should contact the police, but I had a better idea. Turn the power off. I asked Mr Varma to call the electricity company and sort it out, and I would organise the transport to get the cats back to their owners. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Metrolan was back to normal, and so was Rowan. I wasn't sure how to feel about the pylon. Stealing cats is wrong, but it must be lonely living on Wicker Hill, where there's no one to make music with. 
Paul Pylon. 